friends, welcome back to SJ Crochet and today we're going to go through the fundamentals of crocheting. If you're a total beginner, this is where you want to start. So we're starting from the yarn. So this is a fundamental cotton in beige color. It's from Yarn B. I got it at the Hobby Lobby. So this is what I would recommend you to start with cotton yarn or maybe acrylic yarn. You can turn it around and you will see specification here. It tells you the weight of it, 3.52 ounces or 100 gram. It's 164 yards or 150 meters. And down here, it will tell you the recommended hook size. For US hooks, it's size 6 and UK it's size 8. So right here, I have my hooks. But before I go into the hooks, I would recommend you, again, start with cotton or acrylic yarn, please. Do you not start with this chunky yarn, big yarn, thick yarn? This is going to be very confusing and hard to see stitches. So please just hold off at this for a little bit and start with something that's really easy to see. So one more tip, don't pick the too dark of the colors. So again, it's going to be a little bit harder to see your stitches, your loops, so stick with something brighter, maybe neutral or whichever your favorite color, just not dark blue, dark browns, dark greens, so blacks, just hold off a little bit of it. So this is my choice for today and then based on the hook size, I have my hooks right here. So with the hooks, there is a lot of different hooks. There is a plastic feel to it, there is a metal hooks, there is metal hooks with, um, <laughs> this one is a little bit crooked, this hook with a wooden handle, so pick what you like, but one thing I really recommend, and I like, I like metal hooks, I don't know, it's comfortable for me to hold it, the yarn slides, slides up and down really easy, so this is what I like, but you maybe pick two different ones and see which one you like the best. Also, on the head of the hooks, you will see this pointy, and I do also like that, so it's really easy for me to slide into the loops or the final loops, so I do like the point here. That's right here. So, and from here, we we'll move to the stitch markers. I have this little kit that I got in Hobby Lobby and super cute. I got it probably for seven dollars and it has everything that you will need. You will need uh, scissors, but maybe you already have them at home. The little cute scissors. This is a yarn you know that later on you will weave the little tails through your work. This is really handy. I love this. I love the size. So this could be good for the majority of your projects. They included here some stitch markers. If you don't have the stitch markers, you can use bobby pins. You can do safety pins like here, or you can do just a little pieces of yarn, but <laughs> on my experience, I would recommend you some stitch markers wherever you choose, wherever you can get hold of, just get it, you won't regret it, it will help you a lot. So this is it, yarn, crochet hooks, scissors, some stitch markers, and the yarn needle as well. And we are ready to start from here. Okay guys, ready to work on the chain. I'm going to grab the that short end of the yarn into my hands. Then I'm going to wrap the yarn around, bringing over my two fingers and cross it on the top. Grabbing my hook, this is size four. I'm going to sew my hook 
first loop I'm going to pull the second one and I'm going to pull it through sliding the yarn off of my fingers and look if you pull on the end of the yarn we got a first nice loop here here we go you want to do it again and it's going to be a little bit tricky so let's do it again And again, short end in my hand, hold it with your big thumb, wrap it around, bring it over, little cross on the top, go with your hook under the first loop, grab in the second and start pulling it through. You see the yarn coming up, slide it off of your fingers, pull it on the end, here we go, nice loop. Then I'm going to send that short end forward and a long end, the working yarn, I'm going to go over my pointing finger. I'm holding the little knot right here with my big thumb and my ring finger. So I'm going to yarn over and pull the first through first loop. Again, I'm going to yarn over and pull it through. Yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, and pull it through. You can hold your hook like I do right here, or you can hold it right there in a the flat surface. It's up to you how it's comfortable. You can hold it as a pen, or you hold it as a knife. It's up to you. Let's do a couple more. One. Two, three, nice braid, four, five, six, seven, yarn over, pull through, let's do one more, yarn over, pull through. I always move my thumb and my ring to just grab it closer right here my middle finger helps one more yarn over pull through one thing if it's your yarn is too tight right here that means that the working yarn on your pointing finger is too tight as well look i keep it tight between my fingers right here and look i barely can pull it through so hard if you loosen a little bit up let that yarn slide up and down on the hook and slowly yarn over pull through comes nice and easy now you can see i can i'm gonna pull my hook with the yarn out to finish my chain i'm just going to cut it right here and i'm going to on this short end and here I tighten my chain up so right here in the chain you can see nice letter V's created by the yarn this is where we will work to build up and the back on the chain you can see the little back bones right here the, the chain going to be a base layer for all of your scarves, bags, cardigans. You just master this, do it over and over and you know when you finish the chain you can use it as maybe making a little bracelet for yourself. You can use it as a bookmark. They really look cute as um headbands hair ties just a little dainty little cute thing so comment below if you find any use any other idea to to use this chain i would love to hear it and practice guys practice practice everything will come and I'm looking forward to see you in the next
next video like this video subscribe thank you so much for being here and i see you next time bye bye